Number 21, a dart strong horizontally with an initial speed of 10 meters per second towards point P, the bull's eye on a dart board. It hits at point Q on the ring, vertically below P, 0.19 seconds later. Letter A, what is the distance PQ? Letter B, how far away from the dart board is the dart released? So let's draw our dart over here. So this is our dart. And this is our board. So if we go horizontally, the dart would hit the bullseye, which is point P. However, we have gravity in our world, so the dart goes like this and hits point Q, which is below point P. So this is what truly happens. Let's say that downwards is the positive direction, so it's easier in this exercise over here, but you could choose that upwards is the positive direction, it would give the, exactly the same answer. So we know that the initial velocity in the x direction is equal to 10 meters per second, and the initial velocity in the y direction is equal to zero, because the dart is initially in the horizontal uh, direction, so it is the, this speed over here, it is in the x direction. And we know how long it took from the dart to reach the board over here. Let's remember that when the acceleration is constant, there are three different equations that we can use. They are x equals to x0 plus v0t plus at squared over 2, or x or y, you can choose. It works for both uh, directions. We also have v equals to v0 plus at and v squared equals to v0 squared plus 2 times a delta x. We can apply this to the x direction, the y direction, and the, the z direction if we want. So initially in letter A, we want to find the distance pq. So the distance pq is the distance that the dart traveled in the y direction. So we want to find delta y and then we will use this first equation over here. Let's write it for y direction. So it would be y equals to y0 plus v0yt plus ayt squared over 2. Let's say this is y equals to 0, p is, is, is y equals to 0, so this term goes away. So y equals to the initial velocity in the y direction is 0 as well. So this is equals to the acceleration in the y direction times t squared over 2. Since we choose that downwards it's positive, the acceleration in the y direction will be the acceleration of the gravity plus 9.8. And it, it has passed 0 0.19 seconds and this is squared over 2. So if you do this calculation over here, you would find roughly, let's see, roughly 0 0.18 meters or 18 centimeters. This is the answer of letter A. Delta Y over here is equal to 0 0.18 meters. Letter B, how far away from the dart board is the dart released? So now, all we have to do is use this equation again and find delta x, right? So we have to find delta x. So let's write this equation for the x direction. x equals to x0 plus v0x times t plus the acceleration in the x direction times t squared over 2. The initial position in the x direction, let's say it's 0 as well. The acceleration in the x direction, it's 0 because the gravity only goes in the vertical direction. So x equals to v0x times t. And this is equal to 10, 10 meters per second times 0 0.19 seconds. This is t over here. And this is equal to 1.9 meters. And this is the answer of letter B. And this is the answer of the exercise.